Hey everyone and welcome to the course. We're going to be learning how to create a voice controlled game inside of Unity using Microsoft's cognitive services. The first service we're going to be using is Lewis and this is basically a language understanding AI which means that we can say for example to the game can you move forward and what it will do is it will take from that an intent and an entity. The intent being move and the entity being the move direction, which is forward. Um, we can see here on the Lewis website, which is just lewis.ai, or www.lewis.ai. If we scroll down, we can have an example here. We have Book Me a Flight to Cairo, and what this does is it gets the um, intent, which is book flight, and down here in our entities, we have the entity type location, which is Cairo. So from Book Me a Flight to Cairo, it can get from that that you want to book a flight, and the location is Cairo. And with that, you can then do other services and many other things. Um, for our example, we're going to keep it quite simple. We're just going to have one intent of move and two entities, actually, of move, di move direction and move distance. So you can say to the game, for example, move left five meters. And it will know that you want to move left. And it will then know that you want to move left five meters. So to begin, let's go to the Lewis website here at lewis.ai, and we just want to log in slash sign up. If you've got an account, if you've got a Microsoft account, you can just log in with that. But if you don't, you can easily create one. All right, once that's done, it should take you to the Lewis applications page. And what we want to do here is we want to simply click on create new app. And the name, it doesn't really matter what the name is because what's important is the actual like IDs and codes that we'll be using. But for the name, let's just call this test app. Uh, culture, which is basically the the language, uh, we'll just have that as English, and the description, we'll just have this voice-controlled game. Okay, click done, and and then it should take you over to the My Apps page here. Let's click on our test app, open it up, and here we can start entering in our information. Now, for our intents, we want to click on Create New Intent. And for this, we'll call this intent move. Click on done. And once we're here, now here on this screen, um, we can actually enter in phrases because what we have to do is you have to train the app. For the app to be able to know what it's looking for and what sort of phrases it should detect, you have to enter in examples. Um, we're going to do that soon, but first of all, we're going to be creating our entities. So let's go over here to the left to entities. And we want to create two entities. So create a new entity, and we'll call this one move direction. Keep that as simple. Click done, and this is going to basically be forward, forwards, backwards, back, left, right. Um, let's create another entity and call this move distance. This is just going to be a number, and click done. Now at the moment, the app doesn't actually know what these are or what they should be, and that is why we train. So let's go back to intents. Click on our move intent. And we can start entering some, some examples and then assigning um, the entities to those examples. So, for example, let's just go, can you move backwards? Click enter. Wait for it to load. There it is. And what we can do now is, if, you, if we hover over the text, we can see that it actually um, pops up with these brackets. So what we can do is we can click on backwards and select move direction. So now it knows that backwards is a move direction. And what we can then do now is enter in some more intents. So let's go, can you move left five meters? Enter that in. And what we can do then, let's assign left to the move direction and five to the move distance. Now, what's important when doing this is that you want to have very varied messages. So try putting the move distance ahead of the move direction. So here we could go, um, move six meters forwards. It'll create it. Then let's assign the six to the distance and the forwards to the direction. Now, you want to do this for each of the move directions. For, for us, we're going to be having forwards, backwards, back, which is basically the same thing as backwards, but some people set it differently, and left and right. So try and have like around three, I'd say, for each of those, and with very different distances, different numbers, you know, put in meters, don't put in meters. So yeah, let's go through that now.
Okay, I got a, around a dozen or so I'd say. And what we want to do now is we want to go up here and click on the train button. This will train our app, it'll go through the machine learning and try and understand what our intents and entities actually are. So let's click on that. Um, it shouldn't take too long, it probably takes around 10 or so seconds I'd say. At the moment it's just queuing, now it's training it. And there we go, it's finished. Easy as that. And now what we can actually do inside of the um, web page is actually test it out. So let's click on the test button up here and this will open up a little panel over here and we can enter in a test utterance and utterance is basically a phrase that we're going to say. So let's go move left and here we can click on inspect and as you can see entities the move direction is left. We can also then do something a bit more complex. Um, we'll go please move five meters forwards. Let's see if this actually does it. We might have to enter in a few more um, example phrases if this doesn't. Let's click inspect and as you can see move distance 5 and move direction forwards. So basically just go over this and enter in a few examples, um, make them quite complex maybe if you want, and if you see that they're not really lining up the correct entities or if they're missing entities, um, just enter in more varied phrases here in the examples area. So great, once we're done with that we can actually publish the app. So let's go up over up here to publish, click on that, and yep we want to production, click publish, And there we go, it's finished. Uh, what we want to do now is go over to manage because we want to actually get a few things that we will need to actually link to the API. And for that, we need to get our, let's get rid of this here. So click on manage and this will take you to the application settings. Um, we need to go down here to um, keys and endpoints. And all we really need is this authoring key. So basically just copy that. And we also need the endpoint here. So just keep those two um, things on hand as we continue through the project.